They threaten every facet of life on and around the Great Lakes, including fishing and boating. And it was standing room only at a meeting in St. Joseph, Michigan today, where they were discussing how to stop the Asian carp. Now, the room was filled with politicians, business owners, residents, and fishermen like Gary Cole. I'd like to know more of the science, and I think a lot of us would. Is this thing going to survive in cold water? Is, can, it, can it survive in deep water? Uh, the science just isn't complete. We don't have all the facts. Now, they enlisted the help of scientists from Notre Dame who found the DNA of carp, along with Michigan's Attorney General Mike Cox and Congressman Fred Upton. Officials say the carp are moving north and are now within a couple of miles of the bottom of Lake Michigan. Uh, the current measures they've been taking to keep the Asian carp at bay aren't working, and experts say if the invasive species gets in, we'll never get them out. Many agree if something drastic isn't done now, they will destroy the Great Lakes. But we have to take every measure to stop this fish from getting into Lake Michigan. Uh, they consume 40% of their body weight. They get up to 100 pounds. That's 40 pounds a day per fish. And, of course, it takes away then all the food for the other fish that we actually want. Attorney General Mike Cox says the carp could do even greater damage if they get into the rivers. He says the St. Joe River is the perfect breeding grounds and the impact on St. Joseph would be horrendous. Now the decision on whether they can close the locks lie in the hands of the Supreme Court and the Attorney General is urging people to rally their legislators to do the right thing. You can find more information on the issue or sign a petition at stopasiancarp.com.